couple of weeks been like for you here, and what, what are your thoughts on being here? Uh, everything been pretty cool, you know, just uh, getting a bond with everybody, you know, the coaches, the teammates, you know, everything been pretty good, you know, just getting a grind, that's all. What do you feel like you add to this defense and back room? Uh, a lot. I feel like I bring that dog, you feel me? Every team I played on, you feel me? We won, and the defensive back room, everybody had a chip on their shoulder. So I feel like that's the main thing I bring. And of course, I played a lot of starts, which I've been seeing online. That's a, uh, another thing, you know, I bring to the defense, for sure. To the whole team. So what's this initial song that we've been like for you in this acclimation process? And just getting comfortable here in Champaign? Uh, it's been pretty easy because, you know, the guys around me, you know, they've been uh, with me step by step, you know, even when I leave the facility and stuff like that, you know, with classes and everything off the field, you know, they've been with me every step of the way. So it's been pretty smooth for them. Did you always think about moving up to the Big Ten or SEC or was that always in your head or was this, this come more recent? No, nah, uh, no, nah, it was more recent. I wasn't really thinking about too really? much. Yeah, I was just trying to, you know, think about what I had going on at the time, but you know, it happened out, so for sure we're ready for it. What do you take away from your three or four years at, at Ohio? That that defense was pretty salty when you were yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I feel like, you know, the guys I played with there, you know, like I said, everybody had a chip on their shoulder. And, you know, they really taught me how it is, you know, to win on the next level. So, you know, I, I learned a lot from them guys, you know, the coaching staff too also. So, you know, I just, you know, plan to bring that here and, you know, try to, you know, keep that winning culture around for sure. What's that winning culture look like? like what, what are some of the elements that you guys had in Ohio? Uh, uh, no slacking, like, you know, guys in the weight room. You see how we start, we had to restart reps and all that, you know. We, we had all that, of course, but, you know, we had guys, you know, get on everybody, so make sure everybody on their, you know, best game every day, coming in every, every time, trying to, you know, give 100% each and every day, so, yeah. What'd you like, what'd you like about being there? A smaller town, I guess this is smaller too, but being, in the Athens, what was it like for you? Like life, day to day life for you. You said at Athens. Yeah, in the Athens, what was it like? Uh, it was it was cool. It was it wasn't nothing to do at all. So it was really a football twenty four seven. You know, even when I leave the facility, we just talking about football. I wanted nowhere to go for real, but no, not to talk down right now. But no. you know, it was just easy to you know lock in for real, basically. Is this place similar or not? Yeah, it's real similar, but it's it's bigger for sure. Like Athens was a little circle. You know, you feel me? So it's for sure bigger. You know. As a transfer to you. I mean, you're new here, but you have a lot of experience. So what is it like not only you know, coming in being new, but also still being able to be a mentor for some of the younger guys? Uh, that's good. You know, that's the thing. Uh, I see it's a lot of, you know, young, young guys on the team. You know, a lot of them guys, you know, I just got here and them boys looking up to me. So, you know, that's just, I got to, you know, help that standard up high. So that's, that's all I feel. What excites you about uh, joining this defense and, and playing a role in that? Uh, everything, for real. Uh, just talking to uh, Coach Henry, you know, I see myself, you know, having a big role. You know, big time football, of course. Look at the schedule. We play big time, you know, games every week. So, you know, I'm just excited and ready for that. Is a place you're looking forward to going that you've not been to before? Um, I really ain't been to none of them places, but Oregon for sure. Okay. Yeah, that's a, you know, dream school going up. So that'll be lit. Yeah, for sure, going up there, Oregon. What's your impressions of Coach Parker and kind of what he brings? Uh, Coach Parker, you know, I ain't really get to uh, see him too much. You know, the coach is gone right now. But the little time I was with him, you know, Energetic. He teaching me stuff I ain't never heard before. So, like, so my first day with him, I was in the office with him for like five minutes, and he gave me like five, six different techniques I could use already. So, you know, he just uh, you know giving everybody information and making sure everybody you know have coming with that energy every day. For sure. What were your other options besides here? What were the other schools you considered? Oh, uh, when I, I before I committed. I was uh, finna go to UMass, but when I committed, I had a couple, I, I can't remember, Arizona was one, one of them, but it's a couple other uh, Power 5 schools that hit me up, but it was done by the time I came on a visit here, so. Why, why here, what, what appealed to you by being here one? Uh, talk, when I, like I, when I came on a visit, li just looking at everything, you know, my eyes, you know, got big for sure, but talking to Coach uh, Ahan, you know, he had me in the room for a little bit, and you know, he telling me everything I wanted to hear for sure. So, you know, when I, after I left that room, I pretty knew I was pretty much coming here for sure. When you came here to Champaign, were there certain aspirations you had coming in and just what you want to accomplish here at Illinois? Um, honestly, when I came in, you talking about like- Just, just for you, yeah. On the, a, like, a player, on, like how, what do you want to accomplish while you're here? Oh, I, I dream big. So I'm, I'm trying to, you feel me? First team all conference, you know, all that. I, I, I dream big. So. Whatever y'all in y'all head the highest, that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking of for sure.
You did your dad played in the NFL. Yeah. I, what, five years? Uh, yeah, a little longer, about the, seven. Oh, eight. okay. So yeah. tell me, how is, what's the, that dynamic growing up? Did you talk about that a lot when you were growing up, or did he ever encourage you about that or not? Uh, growing up, I mean, I played football since I was five. Um, having him step by step, you know, every, you know, every age growing up, you know, it was really, he made it easy. Like this half of the stuff I'm learning now, I've been hearing that since I was about seven years right. old. So it ain't, it's really just repetitive hearing the same stuff, you know, just trying to, it's uh, obviously other stuff, you know, that, you know, Coach Parker and them boys give it to me. But, you know, having him every step of the way was a big help. I feel like I learned everything pretty sure. early and got the you know, hang of the game pretty early. Have you seen film of him? My dad. Have you eaten a lot of it or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Not a lot, but I seen like more his college film and high school and all that. I seen a lot. Not From a my, Where was college film? Uh, Pitt. Okay, okay. Pitt, yeah. So would you see him and go, oh, okay. Yeah. Did, did, I mean, does it kind of raise your feelings about him? I obviously I love your dad, but does it make me realize, wow, this guy's really good? I mean, yeah, but. I've been through that. I mean, I've been watching that since I was little, like I okay. said. So, I, you know, it, it's not really nothing to it. Nah, it's just really watching it. it it's motivational though, for sure because, you know, he reminds me of myself for sure. So, you know, watching that is a lot of motivation to, you know, keep going for sure. What do you think about, what did he think about you coming here? Uh, he loved it. He came on, uh, he came up to the visit with did me. He? Yeah, so he had, he, he got a chance to hear everything the coaches were saying and stuff like that. And he loved it. He knew what time it was when I came here, for sure. Yeah, they've got some you NFL know, guys from here, obviously, at your positions. I assume that's helpful, too, right? Yeah, for sure. That's a big piece of it. I mean, you a DB, you come here, and you, you feel me? You go in a room with Coach Ahan, and you see about five jerseys of people who just got drafted. You feel me? That's a big part of it, for sure. But you want a few guys. A couple of your teammates said, Dad's playing in the NFL, too. Yeah, a couple of guys did. Kutz's and is that kind of cool that there's not just you, there's more guys that kind of know that experience? What you mean? The fact that there's more of you that had the NFL dads. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, that, yeah that's a big part. I mean, I can't speak on, you know, everybody else, right. how their situation is, but you feel me? For the most part, the way I had it, you know, it's been a good help. So hopefully for them, it's been the same way. How have you been able to adapt, you know, just playing bigger than you actually are? You know, the, the, the idea of, especially when you got to Ohio, mm -hmm. you know, you're going up against receivers and, and even DBs in your room that, you know, you can't help how big you are, but you can help how big, how, what do you have to do to get count for that? Uh, it's pretty easy to me. I mean, I don't know. I just got that mindset. Like, I don't see nobody. Like, when I go on the field, I don't care how big you is, you feel me? None of that. I just play football. And yes, I've been small since I was little, so you feel me? So it's something that worked for me, you feel me? I just go out there and play ball. And I just feel like I got a mindset where, it allowed me to go out there, play freely, and don't fear nobody. So that's that's all it is to it. Yeah. How did you just nickel? Like, how would you describe the competition at nickel, and, and how do you guys push each other day in? Day? Uh, it's great competition. Uh, we push each other every day. Uh, if you see the times on the sprints, you know DBs up there. We are top ten. You feel me? So we, we really, you know, we just going out of every day, pushing, you know, getting the best out of each other. And, you know, that's pretty. That's pretty much it. How was the Florida DB connection? How welcoming was that for you? Uh, real welcoming, you know, coming in, all the guys from Florida, you know, they from the crib, so it felt good. It felt like home for real, for real. We escaped. It would be more of a fun one, but obviously the NCAA video game not too far away. Mm -hmm. Is there a certain excitement for you guys being able to see that and possibly see yourself on Yeah, the that's game? live. That's real live. I can't wait for it. I ain't even in the game yet. I come in like August, though, but I'm waiting on that, though. I'm going to play, though, for sure. <laughs> yeah, <Illinois. laughs> you got two years left, right? You yeah. Do you have any idea what you're going to do? You want to be here two years? You want to? It depends, I guess, what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see. I don't really know. It, it depends on how everything goes. Sure. Appreciate it, Tori. Thanks, Tori. Appreciate it, Tori.